We're on to the second part of our lesson in 12.6b, and we're going to talk about the secant secant product theorem. If you missed 12.6a, it's linked in the description along with the geometry playlist. And we had learned about the chord chord product theorem. A secant segment is a segment of a secant with at least one endpoint on the circle. See these endpoints? So we have several secant segments here. We've got this entire thing, AE. We also have AB, BE, this entire thing, CE. We have CD and DE. An external secant segment is a secant segment that lies in the exterior of the circle with one endpoint on the circle. So we have external seg secant segments that are segment BE and segment DE. So for your notes, we have the secant secant product theorem. It's theorem 12.6.2. And the theorem says if two secants intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the product of the lengths of one secant segment, right here, and its external segment equals the product of the lengths of the other secant segment and its external segment. So secants AE, this whole thing, and CE, this whole thing, intersect at E. And our conclusion is that AE, this entire secant segment, times its external segment, BE, is going to be equal to this entire secant segment, CE, times its external segment, DE. So we have a paragraph proof for the secant secant product theorem. Take a look at this drawing. We've got secant segments AE and CE. Those are given. We need to prove that AE, the whole thing, multiplied by BE, its external segment, is equal to CE, this whole thing, multiplied by its external segment, DE. So for our proof, we draw auxiliary line segments, AD, this one right here, and CB, this one right here. Angle EAD, this one right here with vertex A, and ECB, this one right here with vertex C, both intercept arc BD right here. So angle EAD is congruent to angle ECB. And angle E is congruent to angle E by the reflexive property of congruence. So triangle EAD, this thin little triangle up here, is similar to triangle ECB, this little thin triangle here, by AA similarity, angle-angle similarity. We have an angle and an angle. We have angle A and E, and we have angle C and E. And therefore, corresponding sides are proportional, so we have this proportion, AE over CE is equal to DE over BE. And by the cross products property, AE times BE is going to equal CE times DE. See? Cross products. We can use the secant secant product theorem to find the value of x, this length right here, and the length of each secant segment. So we have RT, this entire length, times RS, its external, is going to equal RQ, this entire length, times its external. Well, this entire length, this is a 4 and a 6, so that's a total of 10, that's a sum of 10. We're going to multiply it by 4, its external length, and it's going to equal this part right here, x plus 5, because remember we're adding them together, times 5, its external length. And that's going to give us 40 is equal to 5x plus 25. We distribute the 5 into the parentheses. We can subtract 25 from each side. It's going to give us 15 is equal to 5x. We divide both sides by the 5 coefficient here, and we get 3 is equal to x. Now we know RT is a 4 plus 6, that length is a 10, and RQ is a 5 plus a 3, so its length is an 8. That wasn't too bad, was it? In the final part 
of our lesson for 12.6, we're going to talk about secant tangent product theorem, 12.6c. Then we're going to move on to video 12.7. That's all in one lesson. There's no ABC. We're going to talk about circles in the coordinate plane and equation of a circle. Once we finish this, we're going to move on to chapter 13. And then after chapter 13, we're going to be finished with high school geometry.